I want to talk about an addiction. At correction, I want to talk about my addiction. When I was 17, I decided to cut myself. I pried the blades out of a disposable shaving razor and cut a cross into my right palm. I'm going to write this crazy story about this crazy character and then I came back with all these ideas and then Nick said to me, what about you? What about writing about uh, your experiences with self-harm? Um, and I was like, well, uh, I don't know if I have enough material for that, Nick. I don't know if my story's interesting enough. Mm -hmm. it, it was an interesting process. The thing that was nice about it was I feel like I got to write about a lot of things that were on my mind that I hadn't really been able to express or, or talk about. A lot about past relationships and, um, and then my own struggles with, with cutting and burning myself and think about it in a different way. Think about it not just talking to a therapist or telling someone my story, but think about it in, through an artistic lens. My life felt like quicksand. I was being sucked down whether I liked it or not. Cutting became my inch of solid ground. I am taking control of my body. The whole rest of the world may be spinning out of control. I may be graduating from high school even though I'm not ready for it to end. I may be attending a college. I don't want to attend. My church may be telling me what is right and what is wrong and here are the things that are okay for you to do and here is what is forbidden and on and on and on and I need the thoughts to stop. I need them to stop now. A lot of people have asked me, does this make you want to cut more writing about it? And I guess the answer is sometimes, um, but it has been cathartic. I mean, it hasn't been like, you know, tears and, um, you know, crazy, you know, craziness, but it's been, I think it has been very helpful. It's helped me, I think it's helped me put it in the past, you know, a little more solidly. Some people took weeks to ask, and even then it was still like pulling teeth. Um, Ben, I, uh, you don't have to talk about it if I don't want to, I just, I, I noticed, uh, I'm sure other people have asked, uh, how did you get the scars on your arms? And some of the people I thought I was closest to never asked. When we started um, in January, I wouldn't have said that, you know, this is where I would be at this point, you know, I, that I would actually have a a you know finished product but I think it was really that diligence of you know writing every day um, and just writing even if I didn't feel like writing writing if I didn't feel like I had anything to write about um, writing through all those difficulties that uh, that sort of got us to this point and it's also helped me with other areas of my life if I can set 30 minutes of time aside a day to write I can set an hour aside a day to exercise you know, so it's also helped me in other, in other areas to, to really sort of take control of my life and make it what I want it to be. I have some things I need to show you now. Crab fork, heat it. Here, and here, 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 and here, here, and here. No, I'm not an alcoholic and no, I've never abused drugs, but I'm sober 102 days. I think most cutters are people like me, people just trying to survive. <laughs>